I've always worked with medium that are extremely unforgiving. My dad was a woodworker, he was a cabinet maker, and so I felt like I was channeling my dad. And wood burning, I thought, would be something that would lend itself to my style of drawing because I, I was seeing wood burning as something very line oriented. And then watercolor was my medium before and I could not totally give up watercolor. So I thought, ah, oh, man, I need to try to, to mix both of them. The painting, painting was like a kind of, um, I'll call it like a tumultuous love affair. I, I really thought I was going to go into illustration. I really thought I was going to pursue like medical illustration specifically because I, I really liked the sort of observational part of making and I really liked deep looking and sort of the mechanisms behind representing something. That changed and it shifted to uh, where I also wanted to exercise some of these more poetic licenses and painting has that. It, it was more to me a rich discussion I had with myself suddenly that I, I never really paused to have. Why am I doing this like this? You know, I love to be in the outdoor for this. And to me, it's kind of the, the continuing of the process of being in this environment that touches me so much and that humbles me, that puts me back, you know, into my little pebble. I think a lot about power structures, right? And how the contemporary language is built on all these previous stages. And to try to identify, to look in there and sort of see those relationships and sort of call them out. Because of what I'm, what I'm thinking about in terms of the content, I want them to kind of have an overblownness or a, a cartoonishness to them. And I'm interested in caricature language or too muchness. And wood burning is long. It's, it's time consuming. It's, I mean, it, it's very, uh, the, especially the way I do it, I'm, I just work with lines, so it takes forever. When you've been on the climb, and the day was like an 18 hour day and you came back and when, you, when you're toward the end of a day like this, all you want to do is find the car, go to eat something and never do it again. And then as soon as you had the car, I was like, when are we doing this again? Uh, and, and wood burning is a little bit like this. It's just, oh my God, this, this is taking forever. But little by little, you kind of see the thing appear. And it's kind of cool to have that parallel process, I think. I, I work specifically with hyper-masculinity. That's what I think about a lot, is these avenues and these places where masculinity plays out. And But as much as I'm interested in the way in which um, men communicate to one another, I'm also interested in critiquing those spaces and trying to understand maybe the way problematic versions of maleness are snuck into things that are considered subversive and how those things are interconnected. Art St. Louis 35, the exhibition, is on view through December 23rd in our gallery downtown at 1223 Pine Street, and you can find everything you need to know at artstlouis.org.